Hey, it's Drug Lines, and I want to demonstrate this script that uh, makes sure that I've been working on. Um, it's called uh, Automate My Task. It, it, we deb debuted it earlier in a webinar. Let me launch it here. Um, I forget what we called it then. Uh, but basically, it's kind of like fine text in that you can find a given image or whatever. Um, it's a bit more advanced and allows also for clicking and sending what you want to do. It also allows, allows multi-steps to be built into the GUI, and it exports the syntax to use um, the auto hotkey syntax. So you don't actually use this to build it, uh, but you don't use it day to day. So let me go ahead and um, the first thing we want to do, I'm just going to demonstrate some of the uh, the functionality. And then in the, tomorrow's webinar, if you're not signed up, sign up for it. We're going to be uh, walking through it in a bit more detail um, and then uh, it'll be available on my website after that. So I'm hit F1. So I hit F1 here. I could have clicked here or hit it. And this is now searching for what do you want to click? Let's say I want to do this search replace. Um, notice I click it and see the tooltip there. It says move away and press F1 again because the shading, see how that shading changes? And you can notice it in the actual um, automate my task GUI that we wouldn't we wouldn't want to go off of this because then it, it may not find it, right? We want to go more off of that. So I'm going to hit F1 again. And now I can say display matches. Hey, look, it found it. I found it right there. Let's do another one. I'm going to do F5 to recapture. So this, if I if I was wasn't quite happy with it, but I just want to redo it, I can do the the uh, just the image alone. Um, especially if we had a bunch of stuff going on. So I'm going to F5 again to set pixels. Great. Let's just do display matches. So look, now it found all three of those S's. But look, that's interesting. It didn't find these over here. That might be because of the uh, um something to do with spacing i'm not sure if uh there are ways you can down here you can change the capture size which is this dimension you can make it a little bigger but let's say you have an image here and you just want part of it so i can come in here and just drag and now that is what it's going to find let's see if that picks up the rest no interesting it didn't um i don't know why uh those other ones aren't matching that's fine notice there's a one two three right so if you wanted to click like let's say the second one i'm going to change this to to move and my in choose match i'm going to say two and now I'm gonna test it and notice my mouse goes to the second one versus if I change this to the third match and test it, it's gonna to go to the third one, right? And again, with the display matches, you see there's the one, two, three. Um, you can also tell it to offset it. So if you wanted to go up or down or left or right, you can adjust that. And you can actually do it by um, by pressing uh, uh, this button and then setting the offset. That's a little more advanced, I'm not gonna get in that right now uh let's let's go back here let's get to uh f5 i want to do this search replace button so f5 again move away f5 it takes a little practice to get used to how many times you got to push the button um, again i always like to display matches if it doesn't match um i i recommend you, you move this like 10 percent each way um usually that fixes the problem it's still matching it great um let's do a test to move it there Oh, and I'm going to find third because it um, choose match. This should have dropped down to one test. There we go. So it moved right on it. Now let's change that to a left click. So when it moves there, it's going to click that. Let's test it. Oh, the other thing I should mention the um, notice when I hit test, the mouse, I think in this one won't move. Let's hear it, click it and watch what happens. So that box just popped open right? We didn't actually move the mouse there. That's because we're sending a control click um, or some other click. I think it's control click. Maestri did all the programming. I did the more what design of what I wanted with it. Um, if that doesn't work, because not all things respond to a control click, that's where you would say send an actual click, right? And that one, let me close this, not that that matters, but I'm going to test it. That one will move. See, my mouse moved over there, right? So, by default, if, hey, if setting a control click works, that's awesome because it doesn't interfere with your mouse, right? If it doesn't work, turn on this to, to send that. Now, that's the first stage. Let's add another step. Um, well, I'm gonna hit F1. Let's say I wanted to find, oh, you know what? Let's, uh, before we do that, and, and what's great, the other thing I should point out here, here's the window title right? Here is the class title. So if you have these, it doesn't search everywhere. It identifies like that class first off uh, within the window and it'll identify that class. So it really speeds up the search process because it doesn't have to look everywhere. It just looks within like that class or that window or whatever. We can also um, like this, this untitled might change, but the site for auto hotkey probably wouldn't. So on this one, I'd probably put like here an asterisk i could do this manually too but use after the last and so it's going to look for any window that has that which for site shouldn't really change right so that'll lock it down to that but the um 
the site window class, again, that's going to lock it anyway. So I don't really feel the need. I could blank this out. It should still be fast. By the way, it does tell you down here how long it took to, to do it. Uh, but let's add a step where we're going to we're going to enter text here. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting is um, we want to set text. So I'm going to hit F2. Right, so now, now notice, notice up here. This is a this is the mouse movement. This is a set text. So we're borrowing. I think you can rename them after, but um, we want to we want to lock the area. This is on where we want to find. What are we going to look for? Well, this find what? Right, that's the unique thing that we would want to find. So F two, move away to make sure it gets the pixels pixels right. Okay, and now chances are you want to offset it, right? You don't want it right where you click because where you click is going to be the unique thing, but that's not where you want the text. So we're going to offset it um, like over into here and hit F2 again. Um, now this is one I would definitely say, let's see, um, let's do way, oops, way. Uh, now let's do, let's see display matches. Let's see if it, oh good, look at that. It found it, great. Um, now I'm going to say, let's go ahead and test this. Now I have run into, oh, look at that. And it even, if you notice, it went back and clicked this top button first. So that's the first step. This is the second one. Um, sometimes we, I've noticed this offset, let's do display matches on that. Um, this offset I got wrong, and this is where I might move it up or down um, or over, you know, depending on that. Um, let's do the next one. We're gonna replace way with, I don't know, what, dog, who cares? Right, so I'm gonna do another set text so I can either hit my F2 button um, or I can jump right into it and I can click this. So let's, I'll click it since my mouse is here. So we're gonna replace with, well, we're not gonna replace with, but let's see now, F2 to lock it, move away, get the colors, great. And now do the offset, we'll do it here, great. Um, notice the offset's a little bit lower, but you know what I'd say is let's just do it. Oh, we gotta, we gotta put in some text here. Um, with dog, when I say dog. All right, so let's test it. Well, let's do display matches first. Great, it found it. Always, I, I think that's a good idea. Always click that. Um, now let's test it. So it did, there we go. It did all three steps for us, right? So this is how you can build the steps and layering. Um, now, if you needed a pause in between those, that's not built into this, but let me show you the cool part. Um, so my function name, I'm going to say it's, it, if you put nothing here, it's AMT is the default. Um, I'm going to export this. And now it's copied to the clipboard. Now we could go, let's do a new one here. I'm going to paste this. Oh, we pasted everything. Let's just do just the function because this AMT, um, I've stuck it into my library, right? So I don't want all of that. So I'm going to get rid of this. Although you notice it's only 116 lines, right? It's not a big thing. Um, I'm going to change this to auto hotkey. Uh, so here are the, here's the the overall. Hey, get the active title, but then there's um, click the first mouse button and then do the second insert text insert way. If you read this, um, once you start getting the hang of it, it's easy to tweak it from here. You don't have to go back into the GUI. But the fact this exports it, um, I think it's pretty awesome. I'd probably put a return here. Maybe we'll add that. Um, Oh, it's, oh, no, 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 no. Put that beneath it, there we go. So that was getting the active title, does all your stuff, and then reactivates the active title, right? Because you want to basically, usually you want to leave it where it was. Um, that one obviously can change. But look, what's cool is, let's say I wanted to sleep in between these two parts. I would just put in here, sleep. I'm gonna sleep it for a thousand. Um, let's, we're gonna do a test and I'm gonna, Oh, you know what I need is a, because I need a hotkey. Um, you know what? Let's just, let's just do that. Let's just add a hotkey. Um, so this will be control B. Okay. So now I'm going to launch it. So now it's running down here. Oh, and, and, and it, ironically, it's running inside site. So when I click it, I didn't actually need a hotkey because the window was actually active. Um, I was thinking I had to switch programs. But anyway, so I'm going to hit Control-B. Now it went and, and found that first button, and then it waited a second, and then it did the second two, right? And if I wanted to, I would I would probably hit the replace all in the next one. Although, of course, we're not in the right script, so maybe I, I would want that. Um, let's go ahead and add a next step. So let's we're going to click. Um, so I'll do it. Make sure this is active, F1, 
replace all and always make you know look for the unique thing right so i think that's probably good replace all display display matches wow interesting so i did a sucky job right this is a good sign i could either say two right which would work or i might just say you know what the all is maybe the uh the unique thing here so display matches there we go now there's just one it again you could use the index but what if that doesn't always find all of them um so and that's going to left click it so that should this should um here's where i would actually go back and export it again and run it with that sleep in it but let's just go ahead and do it from here so we're going to test it oh you know what? let's close this to make sure there we go test it it, it did it so fast no way I wonder why let's try it again uh, and maybe maybe um, this actually needs a click I'm gonna change it to click just to try it notice I was on this mouse level here so test that time it looked like it hit it yeah and that time it hit it um, again it's just a little bit of practice right there there's no perfect way, right? And I also, I don't wanna say this is the end all be all because I hate sending um, mouse clicks and control clicks and all this stuff, right? Usually I would find a, a programmatic way to interact with it using controls or send message or, you know, calm, whatever. But um, hey, when, when, when you want something quick and dirty, this is gonna work pretty well. Now I wouldn't necessarily try this across different computers, right? Because the images and dimensions are all gonna be tied to your computer. But um, I think it's pretty freaking awesome, personally. So export it, let's go back into, oh yeah, this one. Close this, move that out of the way. So here, like I said, we might want to add a sleep. Let's do two seconds. 2000, you know what, let's add that in between each one just to see it doing it. And here, if I... Huh, I forgot I wasn't in a HK studio. I'm so used to using Studio, I don't program in sight anymore. Um, so I'm gonna relaunch this. Oops, well, let's make sure it worked. Yeah, I didn't have a single instance um, in here, but let's do Control-B. So there, pause, way, dog, replace all. Oh, that's funny. I had the wrong, <laughs> I had the wrong uh, script active. Let me undo that. So come back into here. And that notify may not have worked. Um, that's the new Maestri notify uh, function, but um, perhaps because I wasn't in studio, I wrote that poorly. All right, let me go back into here. I sure wish that was a, a default. All right, so now I'm running it. Make sure. Okay, come back into here. You know what? Let me let me look at this. The notify. Not that it matters. Notify. Yeah, it seems like that's right. In Studio, I could just click this and it would uh, Alt F1. It would bring me into it. So this is another reason why I don't program in in, in sight anymore. But um, Control B. So it clicks it. Waits two seconds. Finds the first one. Puts in way. Finds the next one. Puts in dog. Hits replace all, no replacements. Oh, it looks like we had already done it, that's fine. Um, and for a reason my notify thing isn't working, but uh, that's fine. Let's see if there's anything else. Let me bring this back over here. Um, is there anything else we would do on this? Um, at least for the, the first level intro, right? Um, you can have it wait for the window um, to tell it, wait for it to appear to be active. You can tell it how long to wait for the window to be active. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Most of the stuff is pretty intuitive. Um, we're looking for uh, um, some help understanding, like where where do you get stuck? More often than not, um, the uh, I, I've had it where I got to play with this a little bit, and there's no rhyme or reason to it. it makes me played a, he spent a lot of time trying to figure out that um, he he got the it on average to do a pretty good job, but you still might have to adjust this. 
I, I think overall it's pretty slick and I'm looking forward to um, not using fine text, even though I like fine text. Uh, this one to me, it's uh, it's even faster and it's a little bit more, it's easy for me to decide if I want to click, send control click, if I want to send some text or not, um, do it multi-layered so I don't have to do more programming. I can do it within this tool. I think in here, mouse, oh, action comment, mouse click for my records. Here is where now we went back and said export. Um, let's do a search for my... Inconceivable! Inconceivable! Oh. Inconceivable! I thought that was comment, comment, insert text. That's interesting. Action, comment, mouse, click. Okay, it looks like uh, that's not, that should have, I thought, been put into here. Um, it should have been updated, I believe. So we'll uh, we'll check that out. All right, anyway, I hope that uh, helps you guys. Um, it, the, we're gonna, we're, this one, we're gonna have it, I'm not gonna be sharing it on the forum, it's just gonna be on my site, and there's an actual comment in the license that, hey, you can use it and stuff, but don't, um, you need to leave in, you know, the, that we designed it and the link to my site. Um, cause, uh, Hey, you know what? I paid a fair amount of money to have this developed and uh, I don't mind people using it. I love helping people, but I'm also of course trying to drive traffic. So, um, like this video and share this, uh, all to your heart's desire. Tomorrow we'll be launching it. It's not going to be available today, but tomorrow after the webinar, I'll have it available and, uh, get busy and, and let me know, you know, where things aren't quite working right. All right. Cheers. Thank you.